do you want to know the seven lean waste do you want examples from IT industry on the seven lean waste do you want to remember these seven lean waste using mnemonics flashcards and mind maps if so watch this video in the next seven minutes I'm going to share you all of this let's get started I need you to meet the following three images the first one is a partially built house the second one is a car in this prototype just like a skeleton there's nothing on it and the third one is a bridge that's incompleted now let me ask you a question will you be willing to buy that car and you can start using it right away no will you be willing to pay the money for the house and go and live in it right away no and that bridge Nobody's going to drive on that bridge because it's partially done work. So all these three images have one thing in common and that's partially done work. So I need you to meet partially done work. This mnemonic is here on the flashcard. Okay. I need you to meet this partially done work. Okay. This seven letters, sorry, is going to tell you about the seven lean ways. Let's get started one by one okay the first one is m okay m stands for motion how many times we know that handing off things waiting for somebody else to complete and for us to start the work it's going to consume so much of time it's just wasting right so hand off of the work it's going to cause a lot of time and we're going to lose time that is one of the lean waste Top down approvals coming by the time it comes to it's almost half a day is over. That's time and motion is wasted. E. E stands for extra processes. How many of us can relate to this in IT industry? The extra documents that we do, the extra approvals that we wait for, right? Like I remember in once in one of the organizations I was working, we had a SharePoint website and that had like 25 extra fields. We simply people were filling for no reason. I just had to go and remove all the 25 fields whether they even gave me a spot award, right? So this extra processes is gonna time con consume your time. That's not needed. Just what is needed is required. Extra processes is also a lean waste. The next one, extra features. Extra features is like you're giving the customer what they didn't ask for. Like I remember giving for one of our customers an extra ad button on the ribbon, though we had to give separate ad button over here because that was a product feature. Customer came in, if you give me this over here, we need to test for two more extra because we never asked for this. We need to see what's the output of this button from over here. They came back, don't give me this update button like three different places, just one place is enough. So extra features is not required. See, software development is not giving you just features, it's like solving problems. If one of the things can solve the problem from your customer, that's enough. So extra features is the third language. The fourth one is task switching. T, all of us can relate to it, right? I'm working on multiple projects, project A, project B, project C. Oh my God, I remember uh, developers like on two, three projects. It's not gonna help them. Scrum masters on three, four projects, not gonna help them, right? So so there was a research done and in his book, uh, Gerard M. Greenberg has bought this data and facts in front of you. It will be in front of your screen. Let me read it out to you number by number. So he says, number of projects simultaneously if you work upon, if you work on one project, 100% of the times available in that project, loss to context switching is 0%. That is good. Now what happens when there are two projects? So you can do only 40-40% for each project, loss to context switching is 20%. If you're working on three projects simultaneously, so you can do only 20% each project and the loss of your time on the context switching is 40%. So on and so forth. See, so much of time is wasted. So multitasking doesn't help. Right? So you have to avoid more context switching. Task switching has to be avoided. Getting it? So that was the fourth lean base. The fifth one is the partially done work. Partially done work, nobody is going to accept it, right? Things are done in dev, not going to QA. Development is done, QA is not done. QA is done, UA is not done. UA is done, production checks not done. Right? right? Code review is not done. So all these are partially done work. The final work is the thing that customer gets. Okay, partially done work is also a lead waste. Half requirement, that's a bigger waste. 
partially done work. So D, D is for defects. We all know defects are like time consuming and none of us are gonna like defects, right? We want to fix it in the first time itself. So defects is also one of the lean based. Last one, partially done work. W is waiting. Just waiting for approvals, waiting for reviews. It's gonna wait a lot of time. Waiting for the onto folks to come or the off to folks to come. It's gonna, that's also lean waste. So these were the seven lean waste. Now, I want you to remember this using flashcards. What I want to do is you have to just write down this seven letters onto flashcards or two papers. Meet P D W. And behind this, you write on the uh, lean waste. So every time, how the flashcards work, how the memory works, right? The working memory is the prefrontal cortex and the storage of the hippocampus, right? So for things to go from here to here, you have to test your brain. So how do you test your brain? By just writing the letter M over here on the flashcard in front. Answer is not over here. The answer is behind. When the answer is behind, the brain fetches. It is testing. Every time it retrieves information, it remembers for a longer time. That's how flashcard works. So M, M is for what? M is for motion or madness. No, it's not mad as a motion. So just turn the card and see its motion, right? So do this turning of card three, four times a day. It will just take you like 15 to 20 seconds per flash card. Three, four times a day. Within a couple of days, you'll remember all the mnemonics. All the seven lean ways, right? So meet PDW is a mnemonic. Again, I'm giving this because meet partially done work. I want you to remember this seven lean ways as one mnemonic chunk. My idea over here is to just make the learning simple. All of us are like in the mid thirties or uh, early 40s or late, or late 30s so we need to absorb information faster right so mind maps and also this flashcards help finally i'm also giving you the mind map over here with the keywords and the images so using both the right right side and the left side of the brain you'll be able to understand this seven lean ways faster you can make one of the mind map draw it on paper and remember it i now want to give you an example from it industry where one bad decision resulted in almost like five to six lean waste on the project. So what happened was the customer insisted for us to use their Jira software when we also had a Jira software and our entire deployment process was based on this. Now they told, no, you have to go and update our Jira also. Now that's the first extra lean waste, right? Extra process doing same update in two places. Then next what happened was this information had to be moved from their system to our system. So again, the lean waste of motion, right? Stories are created there. These stories have to be moved from there to our Jira. Again, there's a motion, this waste. Then until unless the stories are not updated in our Jira, right? There we are facing waiting issues. Again, the lean waste on waiting. So that's the third waste. Then after task switching, one person dedicatedly has to go and update this Jira here and then that Jira over there. That's like insane. <laughs> My team was going mad. It's like, who even approved this working on two Jiras, right? Okay, so that's the task which is the fourth lean waste. And then the fifth one we had was on extra effort. Imagine we had to hire an extra dedicated person to go and update this Jira and that Jira to get things in sync. Now, almost like five lean wastes. The overall delivery was delayed because one, there, there are sync issues. The two Jiras could never be in sync, right? Then after that, lot of delays. They're waiting for updates over there, from there to come to here. All because they wanted to have a MIS reporting in their Jira and we wanted to have a DevOps process for an hour Jira. And I told them, give you the access to our system. We have been doing for almost many customers, but no one listened. Okay, so extra resource, delays, extra cost of having an extra resource. Then after the overall delivery delay, task switching, right? Sync issues. So then missing deadlines. So I would humbly request you guys to avoid such kind of lean waste in your day-to-day -day work in your offices. Please do drop a comment and let me know what kind of lean waste are you currently working on your organization and how do you plan to change it? Okay, so you just have to just go and voice it out. Fine, that's it with this video.